Syriza was uh, is a coalition of uh, parties of the left uh, formed uh, in the, around 2004-2005. Uh, it was consolidated uh, as a coalition after the European Social Forum in uh, 2006. It's um, as a party. It is uh, its principles are that of uh, democracy, social justice, and uh, freedom. We explicitly say that uh, our uh, strategic goal is uh, socialism uh, with freedom and democracy. Um, now, how can I be more specific on the question of what uh, Syriza does or of the nature of Syriza? What would you like to uh, hear okay. more specifically? Perhaps you can tell us a bit about you, some of your practices. It seems you're mm -hmm. trying to involve both movements and partying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So our general, general practice has been that of uh, uh, taking part in the movements, uh, helping them grow uh, when we can, helping them organize and uh, bringing uh, the demands and the ideas of the movements into the political scene, uh, using the party as a vehicle for that, as a vehicle for that. Mm -hmm. and what's, what's, um, what's, what do you think is wrong at the moment with the European Union, uh, well largely the European Commission and the German and some of its other allies approach to the, Europe, to the economic crisis? What's wrong with it? Well, um, the so-called rescue packages uh, proclaim to be or profess to be um, uh, packages that will lead to the solution of the debt uh, problem in Greece and other countries and uh, practice and reality shows us now that they are anything but that, right? So uh, instead of uh, taking Greece out of the crisis, uh, it's f the, we are now much, much deeper in the crisis than we were back in 2008, 2009, 2010. And uh, so we think that uh, not only are these programs uh, unjust, uh, not a just solution to the problem, but they just simply do not work, right? So we want to change uh, this uh, rescue package program with a program that will work, with a program that will work not only for us, but also for uh, all the peoples of Europe. And that will... Uh, not be based on the attack against uh, uh, workers' rights and uh, citizens' rights and uh, austerity measures, uh, but will have exactly the opposite direction. It will be in the direction of uh, expanding uh, democracy, expanding uh, workers' rights, uh, uh, moving uh, towards a more just uh, society. We would like uh, to help uh, create uh, European institutions which will be democratic uh, in contrast with the very non-democratic uh, decision-making that we see in Europe um, this, uh, with the current form of integration that we have. Um, and we would like to uh, change the constants of policy in Europe. So the constants of policy right now has been the maximization of uh, profits for uh, banks and uh, corporations and uh, and we want to change these constants and make uh, put humans first. We want a Europe that will uh, uh, revolve around where the policies will revolve around the uh, principle of people living uh, free and happy lives and not uh, lives of exploitation for the benefit uh, for the benefit of uh, just a few and finally what can what can European people do to support the Greek people at this time well they can uh, first of all put pressure on uh, their own governments uh, to abandon these uh, failed policies that have been uh, implemented so far and to enter 
an honest and wide discussion about how we are going to get out of the crisis uh, without hurting the weakest and uh, without hurting the weak and, and uh, also what kind of uh, Europe we want. So we would like uh, people to be, we would like to see solidarity on every level would like to be people on the to see people on the streets, uh, pressing the governments. We would like to see, um, you know, all messages of solidarity in such a difficult situation are important for us, and the international um, atmosphere uh, that could be created by people uh, speaking out uh, for Greece and for this democratic. A dialogue that we are we are trying to engage our partners in uh, that will be a great uh, help for us.